common thievery from the Kardashians. Busy day at the courthouse. Uh, at least that is what uh, some people are, are alleging uh, because Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian on the same day both sued uh, for stealing from other people. And uh, in both cases, it has to do with the makeup industry, which we know uh, they are dominating at this moment. Currently have on Kylie Jenner lip liner. Just going to throw that out there. <sighs> See? We got one among us. I do. Yeah, we knew it. <laughs> I got it uh, as a kit. <laughs> uh, but yes, Kylie Jenner uh, was sued by an artist uh, who says that her artwork was used in a, a promo for <laughs> Kylie's new show. Uh, she has a new reality show that's going to be coming out. And in the promo, they show uh, this, it's like a... It's a neon it's a like lip that's been, by, that's been bitten, and it looks like it has things like paint dripping off of it. Yes, uh, and it looks exactly like... Uh, some of Sarah Pope's work is what Sarah is saying, uh, and she is blaming Kylie for uh, stealing this. Now, what's interesting about this, and you can see the side by side, uh, there was a, a very similar suit earlier, I think it was earlier this year. Or mm -hmm. Yeah, it was earlier this year. That was Vlada Haggerty. That was actually the dripping lip. This is the neon lip, very different lips. Uh, this one is a, a lip <laughs> bite that is eerily similar. It looks like the bleeding lip. So I don't she's know into why. Lips. The, you saying lips over and over again with a smirk on your face is killing me, dog. It really, really you wanna, does. Do you want to see me bite my lip? <laughs> Ew, no. No one, Reagan, no one wanted to see that. Reagan, don't ever so let that happen again. So she gets sued for that particular thievery, and then Kim, on the same day, also gets a lawsuit thrown at her. Yeah, and that has to do with her logo for her cosmetics company, KKW, uh, because there is a another woman in the cosmetics industry, a makeup artist uh, from Denmark, who says that uh, she has a trademark for her company. Her name is Kristen, and Kristen Weiss. I'm not going to probably the, uh, the middle name, <laughs> it's, it's Danish. Uh, but Kristen Weiss has a trademark for her company, which is, and she sells KW Cosmetics uh, and different makeup uh, products. That's in, causing confusion in the marketplace. Right, and she sells them in, in high-end stores, much the way uh, Kim does, and so uh, she says people are gonna be confused by this. Now, Kim's side of it is, look, I filed for a trademark for KKW. I went to the patent office, I got it. Uh, so clearly there must not be any issue. And she's had, uh, she says she's hired several lawyers to look this over and they all assured her that everything was fine. So they don't think it's going to be an issue. Uh, but Kristen Weiss, who's filed the, the lawsuit, says this is affecting her bottom line. And by the way, she's not just asking for uh, a couple thousand dollars and go away. She wants... Oh, you mean she wasn't asking for $35.37 She Kim <laughs> She wants uh, the KKW profits. She wants a judge to shut this down, shut down Kim's company immediately. I, I, I yeah, don't know. Ch Charles, I'm not sure this is a very good lawsuit, though, because I think the brand of KKW, Kim Kardashian West, when people go in and want to buy her makeup, they really know who they're buying. It's it's the confusion in the marketplace. I've never heard of Kristen K. or Weiss, but I think it's an entirely different but market. She, unless you can prove how is it that entirely people are different confused. Market, but she sells in, in department stores. Like, I mean... They I don't sell, see they that both it's sell different. The same. I mean, can you find both items in the same department store? Is that a possibility? That, that, that's a possibility, but you have to prove that consumers are actually deceived in some way. I think a Kim Kardashian fan is a huge fan. They're going to walk into the store. You don't think someone could walk in? Or, let's say you're not a Kim Kardashian fan. You're just shopping for someone, and you want to buy them a gift, and you walk in, and, and you see a girl, KW. When you buy makeup, sometimes you don't even care about the brand as much as the color or this or whatever else. And so I see like, KW. I go like, oh, that, it must be Kim Kardashian West. That, that's fine. It's I'll get that for someone, and then Conf what I'm happens? confused. Right. I'm confused in my marketplace. Maybe Charles is confused when he buys his foundation, but I think <laughs> most of the people who are buying this makeup know that they are getting Kim Kardashian makeup versus this other makeup. Well, you would know, because we know you buy a lot more than both of us combined, so. Wow. 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 <laughs> makes me want to bite hey, my lip this again. this is Dan from Austin, Texas. Unfortunately, this isn't the first time the Kardashian clan have found themselves in copyright hot water. These artists should take this opportunity and chalk it up as a free publicity because we all know at the end of the day, all the card dinners are going to get is just a slap on the wrist. This artist and makeup artist should take it as a compliment that they're emulating their work. I didn't know who either one of them were, so no press is bad press. <laughs> wow. Uh, and, Off the top of your head. Until it affects, until it affects <laughs> your bottom line. Make sure to subscribe to TMZ Live to keep up to date on the latest entertainment news. And if you want to keep watching, click on one of these videos right now.